Hey gang, Chase here, and today I want to talk to you about two things. Camcorders and wrestling. Ever since the DSLR boom years back, camcorders have kind of disappeared. I'll admit, whenever I do see a camcorder, I assume it's super old and it probably has a mini DV tape in it. But today, in a market kind of dominated by DSLRs, mirrorless, and other cinema-style cameras, modern camcorders have some modern and powerful features and some unique features that make them more ideal in some situations than others. So Sony released three camcorders, well they announced three camcorders at IBC at 2017. They are the FDR AX700, the HXR NX80, and the PXW Z90V. I think that camcorders are best in event or like broadcast type situations, so I found something that was a little bit of both in the freelance wrestling league of Chicago. My friend Ivan has been shooting wrestling for almost 10 years. He uses camcorders exclusively. You can get a really nice aesthetic out of a DSLR or mirrorless camera, but I think for like control and functionality, I really prefer a camcorder. I find it works a lot better for my use. So I brought these three new Sony camcorders to a match the other night. It was pandemonium. Wrestlers yelling and the crowd cursing back at them. People were getting thrown over the ring into the crowd. 911 got called twice. But in the midst of all that, I was able to nerd out and see exactly why these camcorders were really ideal for a situation like that. So before the match even got started, we were taking advantage of some of the features that these cameras had. We were gonna have one camera up top getting a wide that had to be unmanned for the first few minutes till our friend Jack could get to it. Ivan was taking the AX700 to get close-ups of the action all night, and I took the Z90V to get my test shots. So one of the first things we did was we wirelessly synced time code. You can wirelessly sync time code on up to five of these cameras, and that was super helpful, not just for syncing up later in the edit, but that meant that we didn't have to like hit record at the beginning of the night and just continuous roll to make syncing easier on us later. You know how that goes. The NX80 and the Z90V have XLRs built into their top handle, so that was really nice because we plugged the fight commentator's microphones directly into our wide angles camera. A DSLR or a mirrorless camera would likely need an additional audio module, or you'd have to bring an audio recorder, and that is just an extra piece of equipment that has to be synced up later and just one extra hassle that we got to avoid. All three cameras had a big HDMI out, and the Z90V has an SDI out. It's always nice to have video outs that can go to a monitor, or in this case, you could go out of the cameras and into a switchboard. And lastly, I was able to view and control all of the cameras from an app on my phone. Iris Zoom Record, which came in handy because I mentioned our camera up top had to be unmanned for the first few minutes. Right before the match started, I opened the app, made sure it was the way I wanted it, hit record, didn't have to leave my starting position, and we were ready to get rolling. Six, five, four, three, two,
impressive feature that this camera comes with was probably the hybrid autofocus. All three of these cameras have 273 autofocus points that cover 84% of the sensor. And there's all sorts of ways to fine tune the focus area, the speed and more so that you can track fast moving objects. It'll recognize and work around obstructions and the facial tracking was incredible. Guys were running around like crazy. I was zoomed in, zoomed out. I never touched my focus once and I could not find a shot that wasn't immediately put in focus when I needed it to be. After the first match, I went back up to the balcony to play with the zoom lenses because I feel like having small, compact, powerful zoom lenses is a perk that's almost exclusive to camcorders. These two gentlemen are having a very intense conversation and I was able to optically zoom in 12 times. So I don't mean to... Switching to clear image zoom bumps you up to 18 times in 4K and 24 times in HD and still gives you a very usable zoomed in shot. We're almost at the end of the year. And if you want to go in even further, you can engage the camera's digital zoom, which takes you in 48 times. That you ain't quite on that A game right yet. So with such powerful zooming options, I wanted to make sure that the steady shot was on point and it did not disappoint. Here's a gentleman that goes by the name of Brubaker, AKA the Filth King. Oh, look at this guy. We don't like this guy. He, he doesn't get steady shot. As he enters the ring, you can see that it is really shaky. And now we see our hero, Eric Cannon, enter with steady shot on. The difference is very noticeable. By the way, all of these cameras come with joysticks that let you navigate through the menus and select features. That's definitely the way to go. They all come with touch screens as well. Not to mention, these cameras are made so perfectly to fit right in your hand. And the heaviest one weighs 2.2 pounds. Every one of these cameras is capable of 4K recording up to 100 megabits per second. That's pretty good. 50 megabits per second in HD. Well, the higher end Z90V uses the XAVCI or IntraCodec, which is a better way to compress. And I'm pretty sure that the Z90V allows you to record 422 when you're in HD, so that's a pretty good perk. And a beer can to the head. That's gotta be illegal in all 49 states. You also have the option to simultaneously record lower res proxies if you think your computer is gonna have trouble playing back these larger files. All three of these cameras come with the entire gamut of picture profiles that Sony's come with. And you're gonna have Sony's new HDR profile, Hybrid Log Gamma, or HLG. And nowadays you almost can't make a camera without having some decent high frame rate options. All three of these cameras can continuously record 120 frames per second, and it looked pretty darn good too. The NX80 and the Z90V are able to go all the way up to 960 frames per second. Of course, the image quality is gonna go down. Even in that well-lit ring, it was still very dark, but I was having a great time getting super slow-mo shots at 120 that looked great. So that was my experience with camcorders and wrestling. All three of these inexpensive cameras did a phenomenal job and they were really well suited for that type of situation. If you'd like any more information on any of these cameras, please visit their pages on bnh.com. I guess it's BH Photo Video, isn't it? I've been saying bnh.com this whole time. bhphotovideo.com. Keep that in there. <laughs>